Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to stop the guest account in Windows 10 um, and how to make it stop flickering which doesn't help if you want to use it so to make life easier just watch this video it's not too complex uh, just installing a blank VMware Windows 10 so if you start typing guest into start menu you'll find that in Windows 8 it used to come up Manage guest account here, it doesn't come up. Uh, you can go into the account section, click through all the different pages, which I'll be doing here, um, just to show you guest you cannot add simply. Um, you can't add it with add the family member, you can't add it without the family member without Microsoft account, makes no difference whatsoever. Um, alternatively, you can go into control panel. Um, Go into users there and see if you can bring it up, manage other accounts in control panel users. Chances are it's not going to come up for you. You can try to evoke the same place from the command prompt, um, and again, you'll find that it helps nothing either. So, one way to actually get this done to go into local security settings and make sure that guest is not disabled um, that will do the whole job because it will allow you to select the guest account and start menu however once you actually get back to the login screen you'll find that guest doesn't come up in the bottom left corner so it's no use or at least not by itself so once you're done with that go into security management uh, and follow what I'm doing in the video, you basically have to uncheck guest being denied from logging in. Um, you can just basically do that by selecting the appropriate option and removing guest from those options. That's all you need to do. You now have guest account enabled, so you can now go and log into the guest account. It is now showing in the bottom left corner, you can log in. Once you've done that, you'll find that the guest account is flickering. This is not a VMware thing, it, this is what it's doing uh, on any computer. And you can't use it basically. So, go back into your main account. You'll need a few tools. You'll need Lock Hunter. And you'll need Total Commander. I'm starting with Total Commander. Um, technically, you can get away doing this in Windows Explorer. I don't like it. If you can do the same things easily, go for it. So, now just installing Total Commander once the download finishes. I speed it up so it just takes a second or two. Then I download Lock Hunter. Uh, it basically unlocks certain files from being used uh, and allows to unlock files and be deleted upon reboot. You also need classic shell. I'll explain why it's a stop menu replacement. Just go with it. So this is what classic shell looks like. In Total Commander, you want to set uh, options to set uh, to show hidden files and system files. You then go into your Windows folder, System32. Um, get the settings in sync core DLR file. Take ownership. Go back. Enable administrators for full control. Click yes, otherwise you can't delete it. You then go what's locking this file, lock hunter comes up, and you just delete it. That's the file responsible for all your problems in the guest account. However, there's a bit of an issue because this also controls the start menu in general. If you go back into guest account, you can see it's now no longer flashing, it works. And the classic shell start menu comes up, you'll find that the proper start menu doesn't come up because you've just lost that for the guest account only. Uh, it will, however, going back into your main account, work properly. So we've deleted that file, nothing's changed. Uh, classic start comes up, but if you click there, 
your normal start menu is all come up properly. So you've not really lost it, it's just a guest account that can't work with it. But that's basically a trade-off you just have to deal with, really. Uh, that was all. Have fun.